Kia ora koutou. Welcome to episode 8 of the FFS series. Um, today we are going to try and push Brave Trial as far as we can and then jump in and do our first Aspen. Um, unfortunately, sometimes Brave Trials is super difficult. Um, we just, and once we get to the night stages, we run into some really strong opponents. Hopefully we get lucky and don't have that happen, but all we can do is try. And as we move along, hopefully what we get is some Abyss 5 star shards. Um, we already have half of one. So if we get some in one of the middle value chests, um, then we should be able to get another five star and we will be able to make a potentially a six star Norma or take up um, Delassium to... Things are going much better so far. Okay, now we have to verse ourselves. I think I'll actually use some buffs. And see how it goes. Just Delassium left. I might I'm I'm gonna try and push this one. Oops, I revived the wrong Norma. So hopefully <laughs> we don't run into things like this. Let's chuck a bunch of buffs on and we'll watch this one. So this could be quite a difficult one, even with all those buffs. Yeah, I should have buffed more. And to revive everyone, it's going to be expensive, so we're just going to stop there. It's unfortunate. And no Abyss shards there. Abyss 4 star there. So that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, let's see. Um, now there's not really anything we can do. So let's go ahead and jump into Aspen just with what we've got. Um, I don't think the fat move is going to do anything. And we're just going to skip through with Delassium as far as we can. Sorry about the background noise, that's the uh, dishwasher going. And that's it finished. So that should be good now. Less background noise. Um, I haven't really seen anyone try and push in Aspen with Delassium, so I don't really know how well he'll do. He does have good AoE damage. Um, he doesn't provide himself with any debuffs to maximize his damage, though. 
and he doesn't really have any self-sustain. So I don't think we're going to be able to push super far, but all we can do is try. And so he's starting to take a little bit of damage now. It's only a tiny bit, but it will build up. Let's go ahead and chuck in our Norma. Oh. I don't know with the... Um, Normally, I would I would love to pick up that abyss five star, but we're trying to save our gems for the upcoming Monopoly event. I should actually be able to make the gems needed back. Let's get it. Somehow I ended up back on Delassian. I'm going to just push with Norma for a bit. Um, just because she does have self-sustain. And with... Oh, not enough damage. So we should be able to push a little bit with Norma. not dying, she just doesn't have the damage to beat some of these waves on the first attempt. And this is good for people to know how far they can push with the starting norma they get for registering their account. At the moment, it's taking like two attempts, basically, per battle. So that one's not a bit, so we'll just skip it. Um, I don't need the fortress five star. All right, so we made it to wave 36, uh, where the enemy's uh, at level 100, and Norma couldn't hack it. So we'll go back to Delassium and how far we can get. I'm hoping we will at least make it to easy 50. Just so I don't have to do the painstaking task of all of these initial battles again. Time to use one of our milk. Use another one here just to pop us off. Nice, the demon potion will help. I 
I'm going to use another note here. After this, right now we're on to four stars. So I think we're going to start taking a bit more damage. Um, I don't. I don't think we're going to be able to make it to normal. If we do, I think we'll be lucky. And this Norma. Right, let's milk up the Latium and we'll watch this battle. Should be able to do pretty decent damage. Yeah, no. So th his main issue is just his uh, sustainability. because he does have great single and multiple target damage. I think when you, if you can get him as far as E5, um, because he gets a bunch of crits on his base passive, um, the one that does Can't check on this count. The um, last, the E5 enable that is not um, bending will. Oh, whatever one it is that lets him do more damage when he crits is. I think going to give him enough survivability to be reasonably good in Aspen. Um, hopefully a milk is enough. I might not have needed to demon potion in that last wave, but I feel like it's better to be safe than sorry. And now, unless we get more potions, um, we, we just have to go into these and see how far we can make it. Lamb and a liquor. This might be the end of us. Yeah. So 68. 67, I guess up to 68. Not too bad. We almost made it to the top 50, which is only one wave ahead of us. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with that as a first attempt. Let's see what we get from the Abyss Shard or Shards Grim. Not bad. Let's go with Pull these out, and we're going to go ahead and make Grim a six star. Um, Norma would possibly actually be the better option here. Um, but I'm still going to do Kurum. Um, and actually, there's something I need to address. In the last episode, when I was leveling up my monster, um, I, I said 
you get more stats from leveling up the second tier. Uh, it's true that you get more stats, but in terms of the cost efficiency, um, someone said I would be better off leveling up the first tier. I did the maths myself, uh, specifically for Wolf, based on the maximum stats that you get and um, the cost to upgrade to level 30. The first tier for Wolf is the most cost effective, so you get the most stats per Chaos Stone and, well, per thousand Chaos Stones and million gold. Then tier four with the speed is the next best. And then tier two and three um, are basically very similar in value. Um, tier three is better value in terms of the stats you get per thousand chaos stones, where tier two is more value um, on the stats you get per million gold. Uh, so ju just so you guys know, um, you don't, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to work on leveling up the first uh, tier first, um, just because it is better value. So it's always good when I get feedback from you guys, um, so I can do things um, like that. Um, so we need to also get the um, Norma out of our lineup as well to use her as food. Um, so I'll take her gear off and take her out of the FTA team. second six star. So I'll take them up as far as I can. Hopefully it's to 140. Just. And we now need to summon out the four stars or four, what this one four star. And we can reset our lineup. Like that. And we need to go ahead and update our FDA as well. So what we need to do is, I don't know that we're going to be able to, we want to see if we can make the Karim faster than Delassium so that we get the debuffs on before Delassium attacks to boost his damage. Um, so it's going to, because it gives, this is a HP artifact, I had it on Dantalion to make him a little bit more tanky. Uh, but let's see if we can level it up at all. And I don't think we have what it takes. So in this situation, what I like to do is put on a one of the artifacts on a random hero and level it up so that it is a better, um, the leveled up artifact is worth more in terms of upgrading it. And we do another one. Should 
be able to do one more. Go ahead and see if we can upgrade the other artifact now. All right, we'll get one level in it, which is not bad. And it's not going to be enough. But as we level it up, we might be able to make Karim faster than Delassium, which should make their interactions in terms of the team dynamic a little bit better. Um, so that's going to be it for today, guys. Appreciate your support. And actually, let's go ahead and see if that Karim makes a difference in the tower. No, I think we're still going to be stuck for a little while. Chuck some skips, uh, some smashes in there and see if it doesn't help at all. Alright, nope, that's it. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. Um, please uh, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. It does help me out a lot, um, and I do appreciate it. Kakite.